Hi guys, it is a gorgeous, over the top beautiful spring night here in the end times here in Doomsday Trailer uh, here on this glorious, it is a Tuesday night, it might be March 12th, 2024, somewhere around there, so uh, I have been out real estate investing all day today, good God, will I ever get it out of my system. So, uh, I needed to, to relax and uh, get some good news. So, I came in a dollar short and a day late, I guess, for my Good News Monday on that other channel. But, hallelujah, we do have some good news coming out of Sub-Saharan Africa, you know, when you get good news coming out of Sub-Saharan Africa, hallelujah, it is a double dose. Nine people who never should have been born die after eating sea turtle meat. Well, you know, it's too bad that a sea turtle uh, had to die, but this heroic sea turtle in uh, in Zanzibar, I did not even realize there was still a country called Zanzibar. This is on the Zanzibarian island of Pemba, where sea turtle meat is considered a delicacy. Nine people are in the ground and 78 others have been hospitalized after eating sea turtle meat on Pemba. Yes. The veal tasting meat of green turtles is like in other coastal communities throughout Asia and Africa and, and hell, don't forget uh, Latin America is still a delicacy in Zanzibar, despite the endangered status of the animals. And as this incident indicates, its predis predisposition towards severe and sometime fatal food poisoning. Hallelujah. So, uh, they're trying to figure out uh, out exactly uh, what type of turtle the people who died ate. Uh, <clears throat> Fortunately, this is far from the first time such an incident has occurred, including on Pemba itself. <clears throat> In November 2021, seven other clueless fucking morons who never should have been born died uh, after five families ate the local delicacy. There you go. <clears throat> With the global poaching trade resulting in the deaths of more than a million sea turtles over the past 30 years, which doesn't even include the egg poaching, uh, It's likely that the supposedly delicious exotic meat has been consumed by lots of people. Yes. Uh, anyway, we do have some good news to put a smile on my face. We have nine clueless fucking morons who never should have been born. Uh no longer polluting the planet. So guys, I, 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 you know, being a black, dark, ironic humorist, uh, which story am I going to go to next? Uh, let's go to this one. Okay. I, I, you know, clearly it is hilarious when nine clueless fucking morons uh, eat an endangered sea turtle and die. That, I, I don't know how anybody on the planet 
could not find that a good news, uh, warm and fuzzy article, but it gets a little bit more complicated when you are an appreciator of the dark ironies and absurdities of life. So what we have here is, and, and everyone knows that I am not a fan of breeders. Now, I am a confirmed anti-natalist, but I'm not really blaming the, you know, the baby who never should have been born. Uh, who I am blaming, uh, of, of course, are, are the fuckers who could not keep their peckers in their pants and, and, and keep their knickers up. It is the grown-ups in the situation. So, uh, this story, is it humorous? Well, if it had played out a little bit different, so gee, what do we have is another deadly fatal attack by a fucking pit bull. So, a couple of weeks ago, I was cheering on, remember when that clueless fucking moron pit bull breeder got killed by his own dogs? Well, this one is, once again, another story where these clueless fucking moron breeders who have a pit bull, they bring home their little baby, they, 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 they place a, I don't know, let's call it a, an eight or nine pound defenseless little creature called a human baby, and they, uh, they bring it in to the fucking territory of a deadly carnivore with a, with a rap sheet uh, 3,000 people long, and then their baby gets fucking killed by the pit bull. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, am I saying it's funny that an innocent baby got killed uh, by a pit bull? No, I, e e even I am not going to go that far, but... I am cheering on the pit bull before the, you know, the cops came in and killed the fucking dog. Uh, that the dog, after, it, it first it killed the goddamn baby and, and, and these clueless fucking morons who brought a, who brought their newborn baby, set it in front of a fucking deadly carnivore. Uh, and, and then the fucking dog uh, kills the baby, and, and they're trying to pull their own fucking dog uh, off their own dead baby, and the fucking dog uh, turns around and attacks both of them in, 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 in a bloodthirsty fury. Put both of the clueless motherfuckers in the hospital. Now, if the baby had lived and the clueless fucking morons with the pit bull who brought the fucking baby home and set it in front of the pit bull, which is like put basically putting a fucking T-bone steak in front of a fucking pit bull. If the dog had killed the fucking parents, that would have been an entirely different story. If the fucking baby had survived in this case, and, and, and the fucking dog had killed the fucking clueless fucking moron parents, and then the cops or whoever came in and killed the fucking dog, we, we would have a triple hallelujah, a triple hell yeah, but unfortunately, uh, the parents, uh, I, I guess both got their fucking faces sewed back on or, or whatever uh, from, from their family dog. And, and, and now they're burying their fucking baby and their fucking dog. You know, I, these fucking pit bulls. Uh, so, uh, and, and I love how this story starts out a New Jersey family suffered an un, 
unthinkable, an unthinkable tragedy over the weekend when their infant child was viciously mauled to death by their own pit bull in their family home. What is unthinkable? Let's look up the definition of unthinkable. Definition of unthinkable. A situation or event too unlikely or undesirable to be considered a possibility. <laughs> You, you, you bring home a, 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 a fucking infant baby and you set it down in front of a fucking bloodthirsty carnivore who is the, the only reason these motherfucking dogs exist on the planet is to kill. There, there, there is one thing that is unthinkable about this is how these clueless fucking morons uh, could, could, could have been that fucking clueless to, 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 uh, to, to bring a baby home and set it in front of a fucking pit bull. But, but Hambo, it's not the dog, it's the owner. Shut the fuck up! Every one of these motherfucking dogs needs to be rounded up and, and have a fucking bullet put through their fucking heads. Guarantee you these motherfuckers voted for Donald Trump. Uh, you know, a, 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 a pit bull owner uh, is to me as unthinkable as someone voting for Donald Trump. I have no sympathy for, for these clueless motherfuckers that their baby and their dog is fucking dead. I wish the two motherfuckers were dead too. I wish we had made it a clean fucking sweep. Anybody this fucking stupid uh, does not deserve to be on this planet. Okay? Moving on to things falling out of the sky without parachutes. Now, uh, again, this story, uh, you know, how it ended up, I guess, is it is what it is. I think, though, this might be a what they call a cautionary tale. We've already talked about things falling out of the sky without parachutes. Massive pallet of old batteries re-enters Earth's atmosphere marking the heaviest International Space Station garbage return yet. On Friday, a pallet of used batteries from the International Space Station re-entered Earth's atmosphere over the Gulf of Mexico following an unpredictable journey through orbit. The pallet contained nine batteries weighing almost three tons. It had been tossed out of the space station by some robot in March of 2021. Three years, this three-ton piece of space garbage has since been tumbling toward Earth in an uncontrolled re-entry. The chaotic fall through orbit finally came to an end last week when the cargo pallet uh, re-entered the atmosphere somewhere above Cancun and Cuba, uh, according to people following the, uh, the garbage. It's, it, 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 it's not clear, however, whether the entire three-ton pallet burned up upon re-entry or if some parts of it survived the heat. The European Space Agency was also monitoring the pallet's re-entry and estimated that some parts 
may reach the ground, but that the likelihood of a person being hit by the trash were very low, and there have been no reports of injuries or damage since the object returned to Earth. I have no idea what this means. The, uh, the pallet is the largest object ever thrown out from the space station. It was launched Oh, okay, uh, okay, I, 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 I missed, or I read that. Uh, it was launched in May of 2020 to help astronauts replace the old nickel-hydrogen batteries with new, more efficient lithium-ion batteries. Uh, and, and, and I have no, this is what I have no idea what this sentence means. The older batteries were supposed to be placed inside a Japanese, whatever, an HTV cargo ship for proper disposal. Uh, anyway, they got tired of waiting around for a cargo ship, so they just told the robot to throw out a three-ton piece of space garbage and let it spin around. Uh, it, it, it's, it's just unbelievable to me. Now, so what would have made this story hilarious? So, so let's say a, 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 a chunk of this... <clears throat> hit some uh, fucking cruise ship full of clueless fucking morons in Cancun. Okay, that would have been one of the great stories uh, of, of, of human history if a pile of garbage uh, that NASA tossed out from the space station had uh, smashed into a a cruise ship in Cancun and killed about 3,000 clueless fucking morons, sent the motherfucking cruise ship to the bottom of the ocean. That would have been a, a great story. You know, if it had just crashed through some uh, Cuban's house, you know, some, you know, some schmuck in Cuba uh, going about his life Getting, getting killed by a piece of space garbage, that would not have been funny. A cruise ship and everybody on it going to the bottom of the ocean would have been fucking hilarious. Do you understand? Uh, it, it, it's, it, it's hard sometimes, I know, to read the mainstream media and understand am I supposed to laugh here or not. But uh, I don't think anybody can argue with this one. If anybody, this, this one really is, I mean this one really is cute. A male humanoid robot was unveiled in Saudi Arabia it then inappropriately touched a female reporter. Yes. A Saudi robotics company's unveiling of a male humanoid, humanoid robot did not go as planned. I think it went exactly as planned. After it appeared, nothing appeared uh, about it. They, you can find this video on TikTok. Uh, to inappropriately touch a female reporter, this was Saudi robotics company QSS debuted Mohammed the Humanoid Robot at Deep Fest last week. The robot dressed in traditional, you know, male Saudi attire, spoke Arabic and English. Uh, the Mohammed was described as, quote, the first Saudi robot in the form of a man. 
as well as a national project to highlight Saudi Arabia's AI achievements during a presentation. You know, so they so they bring this robot out, and they uh, and, and so this female reporter, Raya Qasim, she stands in front of Mohammed as she spoke to the audience. A viral video of the incident showed the robot appearing to, and not know appearing about it, the robot reached out his hand and grabbed her ass. Uh, it, it, you know, they, they bring out the first ever Saudi male robot and they put her behind this good-looking woman who sticks her ass uh, in this male robot's face. What the fuck do you think? He did the same thing I would have done. He reached out and grabbed her ass. In the clip, Kassim can be seen responding with a stern glare followed by a raised palm at Mohammed before she continues to talk. Uh, anyway, that is, uh, anyway, if you can figure out, uh, <laughs> good, good, good for you, Mohammed. And this last one, of course, uh, needs no other explanation. I'm thinking about, uh, uh, starting a no shit Sherlock roundup rant. This one would certainly be a contender. The United States, you know, under Joe Biden, make no mistake uh, who, who they're talking about here, the United States is pumping more oil than any country in history, and it is unlikely to be surpassed anytime soon. Make no mistake uh, about which country on this planet far and away the number one fossil fuel producer on this planet is the fucking United States, leaving everybody in the dust. There's not anybody in the fucking rear view mirror about who is pumping more fossil fuels out of the ground while that fucking lion sack of shit uh, Joe Biden, who has pumped a hell of a lot more uh, oil out of this ground than Donald Trump ever did. But uh, you better believe uh, that, that, that Donald Trump, when he gets back in, is going to leave uh, Joe Biden's record in the dust. It is drill, baby, drill in this country and on this planet. Anybody talking about how this fucking country and this planet are getting off fossil fuels. Uh, we are pumping more fossil fuels out of the ground in this fucking shithole country every fucking day than any point in history. Any country, any point in history. Lying fucking sacks of shit. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, that's kind of my uh, my news roundup for the day. What do you think, little dog? Can you think of anything else? That'll do me for the night. Bye, guys. What do you think, little dog? Kill every motherfucking pit bull on this planet.